Okay, hi you guys. Okay, I do not pick up my phone at all. I'm one of those people where like say, oh shit, my door is wide open. Oh my God, I don't have no gas. <laughs> but anyway, say I need a There's a war outside and I can't lose all my dogs. I met this dude. I don't even fucking remember how me and he how we met. <laughs> um, but I'ma give y'all a little description. He was chocolate, beautiful smile from from up north. Um extremely driven, believed in financial security. He had his head on straight. And he was about I would I believe he was over six foot because he was like way way taller than me and I'm five two and a half but he was like towering and you know how dudes be saying they're five eight and they're five nine and that's tall but it don't really look tall when you see it face to face but yeah so he was definitely over six feet but anyways he was tall dark and handsome so we start talking or whatever and I'm at a point in my life where I don't want nothing serious I believe in multi-dating I was still multi-dating during our entire like situation because you know how you can feel someone and you can feel their vibe and you're like this is someone I would never date it's like that but I was definitely sexually attracted to him because the conversation and the emotional connection as friends like well I'm not even gonna say as friends it was like the lust what the fuck? What the fuck is calling me? Uh, what's my puma? I miss him so much. Back to the story. I was, me and him were just vibing. What was cool? Like, I don't know. I found his mind and his mentality super attractive. Um, He was one of the few people I ever had any bit of lust for. Okay, so back to the story of me and my friend with benefits y'all already know i'm a demisexual so we were friends for quite a while before i even built up that type of before i even got to the point where i was comfortable with us being on that level and after a while it was like okay i'm really lusting after this dude i don't know if it was it probably was the smile his headspace all of that was so attractive especially his intelligence like but um it was short-lived it was very very short-lived <laughs> so my first time coming over his house we were honestly chilling playing a game watching movies the first few times my first time coming over i had so much fun um i walked in i was scared as fuck okay because dude's houses sometimes be not there like you ever went into a dude's house and was like yeah i'm never coming back and i'm blocking his number as soon as i leave yeah i had that happen a few times i've blocked a few guys for how their homes look i don't give a fuck if you don't have nothing but a goddamn mattress your house needs to be clean because what the fuck like if i don't feel comfortable using your bathroom or sitting on your toilet i'm definitely never coming back again like that's automatic because i would be stupid um and he was so i'm i don't know he probably had a lot of females over because he was the first he's the first human being whose house i've ever went over that is clean on this caliber this level um my dude had some expensive ass sheets they were nice cool smooth silky um his fridge stayed full his pantry stayed full he wasn't hurting for nothing i didn't have to worry about going over there and we're gonna be hungry as fuck or we have to eat out because back then i did not eat fast food i'm not gonna lie to y'all i didn't and actually he normally cooked dinner each and every time i came over and maybe that was why i started to feel so sexually attracted maybe it was the food the food was so damn good y'all <laughs> oh my god <laughs> 
But yeah, the food was good as fuck. Um. <laughs> but yeah. I'm just, oh my God. I'm really going back because, yeah, I did not even eat pork. And when I came over his house for the first time, I don't remember what the fuck the sides were, but he had these bomb ass ribs. And I was a little scared because he was, yeah, I ain't going to be so too much disrespect. But I was a little scared initially to eat those goddamn ribs. But they was actually really fucking good. Um, the first few times I came over, I would just hang out. I don't invite dudes to my place. I don't want them to know where I live. I feel like it is safer for them to invite girls over. Well, you know, safer depending on the time of day and the person. But, but yeah, I just wasn't comfortable. So, I'm chilling, going to his house. We're watching movies. I don't remember not one fucking movie we watched. Because for the most part, all we did was talk over the fucking movie. Thank God we didn't go to the movies. Um, but then we started gaming. It got a lot more personal um i don't know how the fuck we ended up having sex i still feel like i tripped fell and landed there because i don't fucking know when things got sexual but it was way it was way down the line not too far down the line because he was just a pro benefit to my eyes but it was way down the line in my head because i still don't know how the fuck i ended up I'm really trying to remember this shit. I don't know how. But I remember he was like, yeah, you can spend a night. Da -da -da. So I brought my little bag. And I liked it. It was nice, warm, inviting, and comforting. But the the situationship and the friendship itself has so many turns off, turn offs. Like, I was like, you know what? Eventually, I'm going to have to cut him off as being my friend. And when that thought hit me, I was like, I'm just going to enjoy it for now. Enjoy the ride down the hill because this isn't going to last. And it's not going to it's not going to be permanent. This is just for a season. And baby, was I enjoying that fucking season. I had so much fun. Um, he's definitely, he was definitely a leader. He definitely took control of situations. We went to Firestone and they gave us old ice cream. They gave us old ice cream at the ice cream shop, y'all. And I'm just eating it because he paid for it. And this ice cream was expensive. And I'm like, bitch, I wouldn't have dared pay for this much for this nasty ass flavor. And he was like, you know, and he was like, he, I guess he was reading my face. He was like, it don't normally be this nasty. Let me go ask him what the fuck is up because I don't pay for shit I don't like. And he was like, you want me to get a refund for yours? So I'm like, no, that's okay. I'm going to eat it. <laughs> Lying. Um,. He goes in there. He comes out. He was like, he comes out like five, ten minutes later, heated. And he's like, yeah, they had the audacity to give us some old ass ice cream. Apparently, their machine went down yesterday. They came in today trying to refreeze melted ice cream and all of it had gone bad and all this extra stuff. And I was like, that explains why it looks disgusting. He was like, so you still going to eat that? He was like, in fact, nah, I'm going to take yours back in there. Like, uh, let me pretend okay but he took it in there got the refund we went elsewhere um our friendship was not that exciting it was it didn't really have parameters for me to some kind of way but yeah it was a good experience but then i started to notice i was like bitch lust does not equate to sexual attraction or sexual compatibility y'all it's certain shit I like that I was not going to get. And we're going to leave it at that because it just... Um, But let's start going past us having sex. So at this point, we're fucking, we're fucking, we're fucking every time I see him. That's pretty much all the friendship has, the, has equated to at this point. I think we even stopped having really in-depth conversations as well. Um, and then one day, I wore my afro for the first time. Because normally I wear it, like, in starter locks. Or I'll go and get fox locks. Because at this point, my hair was so long. Um, and this bitch had the fucking audacity. He was like, yeah, I don't really fuck with girls that got afros. He was like, you got an afro? I was like, bitch. Yeah, I got an afro. The afro picture, like, what are you talking about? I had an afro when we fucking first met. And he was like, yeah, but when you dreaded it up, he was like, I was 
you know, I was felt basically he just didn't find afros attractive, which is fine. He said he normally dates white girls or women with perms. I don't have nothing against that. He was willing to accept dress, but not willing to accept the afro. That is his preference, but bitch. It be the disrespectful shit that be coming out of niggas' mouths. First of all, your mama got a nappy ass head of hair too. What are you talking about? Your mama got curl got coils too. Like the fuck? Like dudes really be reaching and they really be trying to shit. And him saying he don't date women with afros was fine with me. But once he started going in depth about what he was looking for, I was like, so basically you're looking for a white woman or a woman that's willing to assimilate to white beauty standards. And from there on, y'all, we did not click. I swear to God. I went over there two more times, and we got into an argument. Because once you run me the wrong way, like, I'll, I'll never like you. That's just how I am. And I feel like it was all his self-hate and colorism that started to show. That's why I didn't like him. But, yeah, you know, he was a bomb ass experience until the last three days of us you know hanging out or whatever what else 